what a perfect example of using her tongue in order to color the sounds. Kia ora and welcome back. My name is Zoe Stevie, your vocal coach for today. We're going to be taking a look at Annie Lennox. I put a spell on you as part of my minor month in the lead up to Halloween. So let's see what she's up to with her vocal technique. <laughs> Before I get to the video, I just want to say check out my free singing list that's available in the description below. I put a spell on you. Cause you're mine. You better stop the things you do. Tell you, I ain't lying. Yeah. I ain't lying. You know, I can't stand it. You're running around. You know, better than it. I can't stand it because you put me down. Annie Lennox is one of the most amazing singers. There's lots of amazing singers out there, but I just really like her tone just captures me every single time. Honestly, I have, to, I know I said it like as a bit of like a plug for my singing lesson, but literally we are going to be talking about her tongue. This is so, so cool. The way that she is using her tongue in order to color the sounds. So you notice that if this is the front teeth, it's like just sitting ever so slightly behind the front teeth. It's still very far forward. The back of the tongue is actually very, very high. And actually there's a lot of tension in the tongue. I am lying. Yes, with that I am lying. So what was that? What was happening there? Well, she was just bunching the tongue up a little bit at the back. You could call it like drive or something into the sound. That's sort of like a little bit of tension that's coming on in there. We're going to go into some more exercises about the tongue later on. But honestly, check out the singing list in the description below because I talk about exactly this. You know, I can't stand it. You're running around. You know better, daddy. I can't stand it because you put me down. Isn't she just wonderful? It's a really lovely thick vocal fold sound actually with a little bit of that tongue tension going on. So not all tension is bad. We, we just want to have tension in the right places or in the appropriate place for the sound that we're trying to create. So Annie Lennox has that very famous, slightly darker timbre to her voice. Now that's created by slightly lowered larynx as well as this tongue tension. But obviously 
I don't have a camera going down her throat. So this is me kind of going, this is how I would suggest students go ahead to make these sounds because I'm not Annie Lennox. So lowering the larynx, you've got your fingers on your larynx. And I want you to think about, oh, 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 oh. You can see there it goes really low. And so you've got that darker time of, because you're mine. And you can kind of make a decision about, how high or how low you want to have the larynx depending on the sound that you want to create. But just be careful because if you go, because you're mine, you can. I mean, if that's the sound you're going for, that's absolutely fine. But you might just pull it out of tune. Like it's just like jammed to fucking Lenny Lennox. It's just like amazing. Oh my goodness me. I just love Annie Lennox. She's just such a fantastic performer. And what a perfect example of how you don't need to sing really fucking high in order to do a good performance. I'm so sick of people talking only about range. It's like all about range. Where's my range? Just, it doesn't matter, people. Annie Lennox, though, lovely dark timbre. She is clearly an alto. Um... But do we care? Do we care that there's like not these wah, screamy high notes? No. Work within your range. Change songs to fit them. Um, but let me know what you love most about that performance because I just like love Annie Lennox. She just puts, she sings with every fiber of her soul, I feel. It's that like X factor that we talk about of like not really knowing what it is that makes her so watchable. But she just puts it all into it and she's not over singing because sometimes when you do put all your energy into it, it can end up being that you sing a little bit out of tune and stuff. She's just wonderful, so committed, absolutely stunning performance. But I'd love to see what you loved most about it. Check out some more awesome performances over here by the fantastic Diana Ankurinova, who is also a wonderful, well, she's a contralto, but uh, she's also got a lovely lowered larynx. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, I'd love to see her next time. Those who hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you around here. Happy singing. Kakiteano.